Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. I'm Abdullah Oduro and welcome back. There was a lady that I met in the gym one time. Her name was Jocelyn. And she was someone that loved to run. But when I asked her what she loved to do, I found out that running was her hobby. Running was her hobby. You see, she hurt her ankle when she was running or a tendon or something in her foot to where she knew that if she was to continue running, it would be more detrimental to her future in moving that limb or that foot as opposed to leaving it off. So she decided to leave off one of her most beloved things in life, which was running, running long distance. And she started to come to the gym and work out by lifting weights and doing things of that nature. So it was something that she left off that was not immoral. It was not bad. Rather, it was something that is beneficial for her, which is running, which is good for her health and her heart. What about Jake? Jake is someone that used to love eating bread. But when he went for a physical, the doctor told him, look, your sugar levels are high. Your insulin is pretty high. Um, you know, we fear for you diabetes. So you really need to watch your sugar intake. And obviously with the carbohydrates and bread and white bread is something that was detrimental to his health. So he knew primarily that he had to leave off or lessen his bread intake. And when he did that, he felt the difference immediately. He was sharper and less lethargic. He started to do intermittent fasting and leaving off any types of sugar from rice and potatoes, and white potatoes, leaving off eating those things and lessening his food intake. He saw the change when he looked in the mirror, when he started by leaving off that which was detrimental to him for a better outcome in life. Fasting the month of Ramadan is the fourth pillar of Islam. And this is a beautiful pillar of Islam because it is a means of self-control as all of them are. When we talked about zakat, it was a means of controlling your finances and controlling your commodities and what you own, not letting them control you. So when we talk about fasting the month of Ramadan, it is a conditioning and discipline of the soul and of the spirit. And discipline, as we defined, is consistent acts of willpower. When you see that sweet or that cinnamon roll or bread or something that gives you a desire to fulfill that rush that you know is detrimental for you, you leave it off. That choice is willpower. Consistently doing that is discipline. So within everything that Allah instructs, it's in order to make us disciplined principles, individuals to fulfill our ultimate purpose in life. And Ramadan is a means in doing that, to make us mindful of which is called the muttaqin. When looking at this month of Ramadan, that is what we're talking about in the pillar of Islam of fasting. You can fast in general, but it's particularly talking about the 30 days in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you disciplined individuals and those that know how to tame our souls for that which is better for our souls and those around us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.